Hello. In this session, we are going to look at how you can declare an output value. So basically, we look at an example as to how we can make use of this uh, outputs to display certain information about the resource that we are going to create on the command line itself. So with this, you will be creating a separate output block, uh, which will have all the necessary information as to uh, what uh, information you want to expose about the resource so each output value can be exported by making use of an output block now here if you see this is how we declare the output block so here i'm creating a resource block and here i have an output block so we make use of the output keyword and then we are using a name a label name and then finally what value you want to return so the this is basically what this defines your output block then we have the label name or the output name which must be a valid identifier now this is what will be displayed to the user so when we create this infrastructure you can think of this as a variable name this is what will be displayed to the user and we can use this to access the value and right over here we have the value that needs to be returned so here I'm calling this resource. So you can see AWS underscore instance dot example underscore server, which is this. And then I'm telling return the private IP of this resource. Likewise, if you want to return the public IP, this will be public underscore IP. Right now, the value argument. So here, this value argument, it takes an expression whose result is to be returned to the user. So this is where you will be defining uh, what do you want this output block to return so what value do you want to return now in this example the expression refers to the private IP attribute exposed by this AWS underscore instance resource block now in this uh, output value any valid expression is allowed as long as you know it is going to return the right value and outputs are rendered when Terraform applies your plan. Running Terraform plan will not render the output. So here, if you run the Terraform plan command, uh, your output will not show anything. Your output will show the value only when you run the Terraform apply command, that is when you create the resources. So let's say for example, here uh, I will define my provider block and then let's create this in the us east one region and then we'll have our resource block so aws underscore instance and let's say outputs example and we will give our instance type as t2 dot micro we'll select the ami so here I have my AMI. Now I'm creating a resource over here. Now let's say I want to return the private IP or the public IP of this resource. So for this, we will be defining the output block. All right. And then you can give a label name or the name that will be, dis that will be displayed to the user. So let's say instance private. IP so this is user defined so you can give whatever you want and then the um, what value you want to return now I want to return for this resource for this label name I want to return the private IP likewise let's I'll define one more output block and let's say this will be the instance public IP and again what value you want to return so once again for this resource for this label name I want to return the public IP so like this you can define your output block and when we apply this code that is when the output values will be returned for us so let's execute this so here I will create a main.tf file and this is our code. Let me save this. We will initialize 
the code. Then let's generate a plan. And you will see that when we run the Terraform plan command, it will not show us any output values. Okay, so you can say this one changes to outputs. The values are not visible. However, if you see this name, the label name, so this is same name that we have used. So this is user defined whatever you will give. That is what uh, Terraform will use to display the values. Now let's apply this and uh, let's look at the values. So Terraform apply. And let's approve this. And this is when the values will be available for us. So basically, this is how you can make use of your Terraform outputs. At any point, if you want to return certain values or if you want to uh, display certain values on the command line itself, all right, we make use of your Terraform outputs for that. Now, you can expose any information uh, related to the resource that you are creating. In this case, we are creating an instance and uh, we are exposing certain information about the instance. So here, if you can see instance private IP, that's a private IP. Likewise, instance public IP and that's a public IP. I can validate this if you go to the AWS console. Here, let me refresh this and you can see this is the instance that is launched and here is the public IP. So you see this is 159, 126, 159, 126. So, Basically, whatever the information we have about the resource, the same information it is displaying over here. This is what your Terraform outputs is. So like this, at any point, if you want to display any information related to the, any resource that you are creating, we can make use of your Terraform outputs for that. That's it for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.